Yo, what's up everyone? It's Gad here with episode 16.9. And if you're watching this, episode 17 will be live where we start on the enemy AI and give them vision. But that's besides the point. That video will be out as soon as this one is. But I thought this was an important topic to cover if you want to create new scenes because it took me a while to figure out how to sort this out. You can do it manually, but I don't like setting things up manually. I like it to all do it by itself. So you don't have to follow this along. You can manually create a new aim position, drag it in for every scene and on the rig do the same thing. But I don't want to do that. It will save a lot of time and in the future it could cause some bugs and you'll be struggling to find out where they're coming from. What we're going to do, because we're making this in the script, we're going to hide this in the inspector. And we also need to be using Unity Engine.animations.rigging so we can have down here two functions, functions, sorry, variables. The first one is going to be a multi aim constraint array for all of our multi aim constraints for the body the uh, head and the hand. And I'm just going to call this multi aims. And then so now what we can do is go ahead and add a weighted transform here. And then I'm just going to call this aim position weighted transform, which is basically so this rig, we have a source object here. And then so these here is a weighted transform. So it's a struct, which just takes in a transform and a float between zero and one. So we need to create one of those, which is obviously going to have the aim position and the weight. So now we've got those two, we need to create an awake function here and then create that aim position. So we can say aim pos is equal to new game object and then obviously dot transform and then we can give it a name by just going aim pause dot name is equal to and aim position all right so now what we need to do is set the aim position weighted transform and we can do that two ways so the first way which is probably the simplest way is go aim position weighted transform dot transform is equal to the aim position or we can oh and <laughs> then we need to go aim position weighted transform equals no dot weight <laughs> equals one or the other way you can do it is aim pulls weighted transform equals new weighted transform and then in here we have the struct so we can have transform is equal to the aim position oh we don't need a semicolon we need a comma and then the weight is equal to one so both of these do exactly the same thing to make it look nicer i'm just having it gonna be this way and now we need to get all the multi-aim constraints and obviously they are a child of the player which has the script on so we can just get components in children so multi aims is equal to get components in children and then multi aim constraint so now we have that we're going to need a for each loop so for each multi aim constraint uh let's just call it constraint and multi aims that's fine so in this for each loop, what we're going to have is a generic variable. And then I'm going to call this data, which is going to equal the constraint dot data, but the source objects. And then so in with the rig or the multi aim constraint, sorry, the source objects take in a weighted transform. So we're going to need to have a source object variable and then 
we can go data dot clear which will get rid of any information that's in the inspector already and then we can go data dot add and then obviously we want to add that aim position weighted transform and then finally we go constraint dot data dot source objects equals data and so that technically should work except it won't okay so if we press play this is not going to work <laughs> even though you can see on here it's going to add the aim position we're going to have an aim position created there you go the weight is one and oh i deleted the cinema machine brain as well so that, that's why but anyway so to get that so we actually aim where we're looking at we need to go to edit project settings and to the script execution order and we need to add a script which will be the aim state manager and it puts it right at the top here but we need it before and we can press apply and this is just how the animation rigging works if you have it after uh, the game starts then yeah it just won't work <laughs> you need to have it set up beforehand otherwise it is gonna look like it is gonna work but it's not gonna do anything so now when we press play and it executes before the start and before the awake there we go you can see we're now aiming at where we're looking at okay so now we need to fix the camera so what I'm going to do is create an empty call this game manager and then add a component which is also going to be called game manager create a new script create an add and let's open this up so what we need to do here is be using cinema machine and then on the start or the awake let's go for the awake we are going to say camera dot main dot game object dot add component and then this is going to be a cinema machine brain wherever that is so now that should work straight away but i'm also on the start going to go ahead and type in cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot locked and then cursor dot visible equals false this way when we click on the screen we can't accidentally click off into different windows but you can always press escape when you're in the game view to go ahead and press on any of these but i'm sure lots of you have already added this in because <laughs> i'm sure you would know about it a lot of you so here we go now we have the cinema machine camera we can still swap shoulders still change his height when we crouch and we can still shoot people okay so obviously now that makes that work we add the cinema machine brain on the awake and let's go ahead and test this and create a new scene open it up add the terrain center it and we'll add in our character prefab wherever he is prefab so we go player prefab enemy prefab just to check we don't need to do anything for that the only thing is we don't have the bounding box so if we look up in the sky we're not gonna look anywhere oh see that's why i need to think of a way to add the game manager because we only want one instance but we need to have it in every scene and then so i think like a, a serialized object or a script a script a script scriptable object will do it whatever it's called so I'll, I'll figure that out um 
for a different video but for now this is good enough we'll press play and we should be good there you go now you can see exactly the same as before we can go ahead move around swap shoulders and hopefully kill him lovely so anyway that's everything for this video and i'll see you in episode 17 if you haven't watched it already so thanks for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video sweet